So back to where we were, if we are riding um, parallel and perpendicular slopes, if we have one-third, parallel slope is going to be one-third, perpendicular is going to be the opposite reciprocal, so since it's positive it's negative, and the reciprocal of one-third is three over one or three. Just real quick, two-fifths, negative two-fifths, parallel slope would be negative two-fifths, and the perpendicular would be positive 5 over 2. So if we want to write the equation of lines using parallel and perpendicular, um, then it will be something like the, I'm just going to type it because it'll be faster. Write the equation of a line which is parallel to the line y equals 2x plus 3 and goes through the point 4 comma negative 2. So what we have to do once again we're going back to having a slope and a point and so since we know that the line is parallel our magic word is parallel the slope of this particular line is 2 so we say that the slope we're using is 2 and we're going to go through the point 4 comma negative 2. I'm going to use y equals mx plus b. This is my x and my y. So negative 2 equals 2 times 4 plus b. Negative 2 equals 8 plus b. Subtract 8 from both sides and negative 10 is my b. So I have a y-intercept of negative 10, a slope of 2, so my answer is going to be y equals 2x minus 10. Hopefully I'm still doing math right because it's late. I'm going to do one example of perpendicular and then you guys are going to be on your own to work some problems out. If I ask you to write the equation of a line which is perpendicular to the line x minus 2y equals 5 and goes through, let me try to, through the point seven comma one. Crazy numbers. Um, we'll go with it. Alright, so now I'm trying to write the equation of a line with just perpendicular. Perpendicular is my magic word, but I don't know what my slope is. So I have to get this line in slope intercept form. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. And so I get negative 2y equals negative x plus 5. Divide everything by negative 2. And I get y is equal to 1 half x, or x over 2, however you want it, minus 5 halves. Now the only thing I need out of this is the slope. I'm not worried about what my y-intercept is. I know that my slope right now is one half, and if I want to find the perpendicular slope, I'm going to use this to represent perpendicular slope, it is going to be negative two. So negative two is my new slope. We're going through the point seven one. So y equals actually I'm going to make miss. I'm little proud and use our other formula. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1 or Y minus 1 equals 1 half times X minus X1 here is going to be 7. So I get Y minus 1 equals 1 half X minus and if we do 1 half times 7 that's 7 halves and I have to add one to both sides. All of my pre-cal students should know 
that negative 7 halves plus 2 over 2 gives me negative 5 halves. Some of us probably change that to the decimal of minus 2.5, however you want to write it. That is where we should be. So, hopefully we're okay with writing equations of lines and parallel and perpendicular. Good luck on your problems.